Hi, in this video, we are going to see how do we create custom roles in Oracle Fusion. So to create a custom role, you will need to go to the security console, which is the administration area for security. So you need to go to tools and then go to security console. So this is a message that always comes up. It wants you to run a job. We can ignore that message for a moment. So we want to create a custom role because of my organization needs. I don't like all the activities or all the privileges given by a standard role. I want to do some customizations or restrict my access or give more access. So if a standard role will not work for your organization and you want to limit or expand the activities, you can customize or copy a standard role. So let's say I'm going to select a role for buyer. So this Aura Peer buyer is a standard role, a standard job. So if you look at this, so it will give you all the activities this role can do. So this buyer job can do these many activities. So I'm going to copy it. So I'm just say going to copy the top role and just click on copy role. And let's uh, give a name called LF0, LF01 buyer and then let's change the core also to lf01 underscore and click on next so this is a you always need to give a custom name for a custom a role so these are the function security policies so if you want to add any new function security policies so what it means basically is it, it will give you these many privileges which this um, uh, policy or this role grants and then these are the resources resources are nothing but the tables or the resources for which this uh, function security policies um, or this role has access to so we don't want to change this one so we will go and click on next so let's see so this policy name let's look at the first policy so grant on trading community person address contact preferences. So this policy description say, which says buyer can manage trading community legal contact preferences for all trading community contact preferences not of type legal. So let's say I am going to, I don't like this privilege. I am going to click on this and I'm going to remove this data security privilege. So this role cannot do that. Again, um, so let's say I don't like the grant on taxable transactions, so I don't want this person to see the taxes. Um, maybe that's not a good example. Let's see. Uh, okay, so let's see. So I'm going to remove this one, grant on trading partner commu community party. So remove this. Okay, so next one. So I have removed two things. So role name, I mean, this is just a list of information. This is a role hierarchy. We don't, you can add roles if you want to at this point of time. And then this role will become more powerful. Or we can remove uh, something. Just becomes role becomes less powerful. Just to see an example, if I want to if I want to add, let's say, accounts payable. I want to let's say accounts payable manager. So this, if I add this, then this will add this role to this uh, custom role, and I will say cancel. So now I have given him more access to this role. We'll click on next. So the users, at this point of time, we can actually add users to this role. And so then um, the, 
those users get automatically added. So if you want to, let's say, add our user here, uh, learn. So automatically, this row, this row, this uh, role will be assigned to this user. So then click on next. It will show you summary. So if you see data policies, so you see on this we didn't change any function security policy, but we manipulated the data security policies and removed data access on two policies. So we removed grant on trading community person and we removed grant on trading community party. And then we added a role, accounts payable manager to this role. And then we added a user to this role. And then that's about it. And then you hit click on submit and close. So this will submit a background job. And so your role is automatically created in the system. So now let's say you create a custom role. Now you want to uh, see the difference between that role and the standard role. So you can do a compare role. So you select the standard role. And then you can click here and do a compare role or you can do compare role from here for now. Let's go and click compare role here. So this is our first role and then we want to do the second role which is LF. That's for the role we created. So let's say okay so I think this role is in process. Let's give it a minute. So, LF. Okay, so now this role is ready there. So let's do and create compare. In the second role, we'll go in and select LF0. It should bring our new role. I'll select that and click OK. And so what's the filter criteria? Uh, because we know that the function security policies, we have not changed anything. So I will not compare that. We only changed the data security policies and we added some custom roles. So I'll do that and then click on compare okay so this will tell you what's the difference and what's the addition so if you see the data security policies we remove two policies so this standard role has these two things managing trading community legal contact and trading the buyer can view trading community contact so those are allowed for the standard role but we removed from our role and then I think it's going to be long list okay so if I go below since we added accounts payable manager a lot of the other roles get assigned to this buyer GSE so it has inherited accounts payable manager and all other roles which comes with accounts payable manager so those rules are not there for the standard buyer role, but they are there for a custom role. And then click on done once the once you are done with the compare. Also, uh, you can do some simulator and go down there that path. But this is the um, basic way how you would do a compare in um, compare create a role and compare a role in Fusion. Thank you.